Cheney was a powerful Republican congresswoman, and today she called Harris a responsible adult. As for former President Donald Trump, he was back in North Carolina again pushing false claims about FEMA and immigrants. That's after he spent the weekend slinging a crude insult at Harris, engaging in lewd locker room talk about the late golfing legend Arnold Palmer, and staging a campaign stunt at a Pennsylvania McDonald's. And these guys, they don't understand. And here's what kills me about watching something like that from the CBS Evening News. They are ending their own jobs. They are going to be out of business if they keep pushing narratives for one candidate over another. Just lay it out there and let people make the decision. They will flock to you to get the information still. You still have a chance to matter. But if you try to say you're going to think the way we want you to think, then you're going to lose. And that's exactly what's happening. Well, even like the CBS 60 Minutes show not releasing the transcript of the full interview with Harris, I don't understand that. Like as somebody like they they've released plenty of transcripts. So I don't understand that when asked about that, then they just respond, well, Trump is allowed to come on our show. We've invited him. He's welcome anytime. That's not an answer to the question. So again, that speaks to them more than anything, more yeah. than Harris or Trump. It's like, don't you want to outlist outlive both of them and their yeah. presidencies? Running, running.